Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about input elements. We have them right here in this second to last option. They're called question inputs and we have two. Input, which is for shorter responses, and paragraph, which is for longer responses. So to start, um, when I click on one of these objects, it's going to prompt you right away to name your variable. So I'm going to call this input1. All right, and so here's our first input object. As you can see in the properties, here's the name I gave it, and these are the default settings for this element. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this to the middle and make it a little bit bigger so we can see. Let's go through the properties. These are all of the standard properties of objects. Um, you can check those out in the object properties video, and I'll link that here. Scrolling all the way down to the bottom, we see the unique properties for this element. What we can do first is we can show or hide the question header, and that's up here. So if you have, say, a text box that already defines the question, you can delete this part here, or you can type the question right on the element. You can choose to make this required or not, and you can choose the input type. By default, the type is number. So please make sure if you want participants to type text, change that right away because by default, it's going to be number and it's going to give you these little arrows to increase or decrease the number. So for this example, I'm going to change it to text. This next property is also very important. It's called focused. And what this is going to do is it's going to activate the text box as soon as the frame starts. So if you've hidden the mouse, say you're in the frame settings and you don't want the participant to use their mouse for this experiment, you click hide mouse. You have to change the focus to true. That way the text box is already highlighted and ready for them to type into. If you don't want them to type right away, um, you can keep it set to false, but this means that they will have to use their mouse and click on the elements to be able to type in the box. Then you can see the linked variable here. This is where the response is going to be stored. You can change the type up here with input type. It's the name you gave it, and these are the other default settings. You can also select the minimum and maximum number of characters. So let's say you really want it to be a short response, or you're looking for a specific one or two word response, you can type those numbers of characters here. So this is our input element. Let's go ahead and check out the paragraph elements. I'm just gonna call this para one. It's very, very similar. Um, all the settings are basically the same. This is just able to handle um, larger amounts of text. So we've got the same um, options here. Um, it's for a multi-line answer. So you can show or hide the question header, make it required or not, and true or false for focused. Again, meaning it's already pre-selected for them to type right away. You can see the linked variable, and you can change the height and width of the box. So clicking enter, they can do multiple lines of text, and you can change that size here. So very quickly, I will show you a simple experimental setup um, using this input object. So for my question, I'm just gonna say, type a noun. All right, put that in the center here. And let's say I'm going to do four trials. So down here in the trial and conditions window, I'm just typing four. All right, and I'm going to hide the mouse for this study. So I'm in the frame settings here and I'm hiding the mouse, which means I need to go over here and set focused to true. I'm not going to do a minimum and maximum number of characters, but I could over here. And finally, I'm going to add an event to my frame. And this is going to be an enter on input event. So under user input, I'm going to select enter on input. My target is going to be this input element. And what's going to happen is as soon as the participant hits enter after typing their noun, it's going to jump them to the next trial. So again, no need for the mouse and everything is going to be self-contained here. Finally, I need to make sure that this text box is going to clear in between trials. So I'm going to go to the variables tab now, click on this input one variable, which is what's being stored here. 
and I just need to scroll down and make sure this says reset at trial start. Okay, so that means that the box is going to clear in between every trial because the variable is being reset. Click save, and let's do a test run. Okay, so I don't see my mouse, but my box is already selected. Type my first noun, click enter, and the box clears in between trials. I'm just typing lots of fruits today. And then I'll say dog. All right, and those are my four trials. And that is a quick video on how to use our input elements.